You know what it is, DJ Self VIP Saturday Superstar J. It's your homie Gray Rizzy. And it's your girl Kenny Cupcakes. Yo, we got a family member up in here, Jay. Yes, man. Fourth of July weekend, so you know we had to make Day it one. special. Fireworks in this bitch, man. Day one. Yes. Day. Who we got up in here, Jay? Meek Mill, what's yeah, up? What's Kimmy, good? say that name one time. Kimmy, who we got up in Meek here, Kimmy? Motherfucking Mill. Yeah, we in the building. What's good with you, boy? Ain't nothing, just cooling, trying to get this money. Oh, all day. That's yeah. the that's the game plan right yeah, there. Trying to get this money and have some fun Pretty definitely basic. now i got that album i had yeah, that album crazy. Uh, i had to get it off the uh i could see i can't see me right now but we we yeah. tall we tall so <laughs> yeah, i think i'm gonna stand up and shit so i got that album yeah lord knows yeah you know you know new york city we we, we you the djs when we listen to it you know it's a straight banger yeah hell yeah <laughs> I, I seen a couple people today out when i was doing my cd sign i'm like but y'all like Lord knows, Lord knows, Lord knows, Lord everything. You know, yeah. I got I got other intros that was like kind of like the other one, but I'm like, man, I'm gonna switch it up. I ain't trying to compete with myself. Go ahead, give them something else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And came that way with it. Now, before we really get into stuff, man, I want to say a salute to you, brother. Yeah, love. You came Thanks. up with us. I, I don't even remember when it was. I, I remember I came up here on a promo one. Not even that time we rapped like a long time ago with Brock. With Brock. Came, yeah. Shout out super. to Brock. Yeah. Man. Shout out to Brock from Philly. Yeah, man. Now, my question to you is: Did you see this? You got today? my girl in your shirt over there. Back then, I knew he was going to ask me. Yeah. <laughs> I knew he was going to ask me that question. Man, Shout good. out to a cool. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I know it looked. Yeah, like, yeah. But it definitely looked. <laughs> like it like kind of looks like her. It looked like the queen for sure yeah. man. but did you know from back then like today was gonna happen yeah I always you know I, I, I highly believe that scene see that's clearly. what he does he does he put stuff in the universe and, and it just happens but yeah that's the realest thing uh, I can't the proof is here everything I talked about and did we go look at the footage the videos it's here even yeah. about Nicki. Yeah, the little tweet from like five years ago. Yeah, I'm gonna get Nicki Minaj. I was serious when I tweeted that. I wasn't <laughs> yeah. playing around. Look, man. I was got it some like one motto. picture in, in particular huh? that you saw her and was like, no, I Yo. used to see it on a lot of stuff. I used to see it on the, um, with the DVD. Come called, up DVD. Come up DVD. Uh -huh. Yeah, the Finney Jones. I used to see her. She was in the, on the projects. Oh, and one of them hallways spitting, all that. You know, you, we was on the DVD game from New York, like Smack uh -huh. to come up. Coke boy, all that, you know what I mean? So that's what I used to be saying. Uh -huh. Yo, man, since you got all this like future telling, man, we got some lotto tickets in the back. I, I, I don't <laughs> yeah. even want no money off the tour. I it just don't need, work with the lottery. You got to work like with, you just got to like, you got to really believe it and it's going to happen. Now I have to salute Malik because like, like he says all the time, like he studied like the culture of the underground DVDs and, yeah. you know, when he talks about, you know, meat and everything and, <laughs> You know, just the lifestyle. Because I know when I watched the come up, I mean, the Smack DVD and Meech yeah, had Meech that. And, uh, Meech and them turned me out. They yeah. made me want to be rich and have a lot of money. That was the first time I seen some black niggers with <laughs> Rolls Talking Royces. That money. <laughs> yeah, Rolls Royces and Bentleys and throwing that money and talking money. And he was talking the right stuff, telling we don't fall out with our homies over money and bitches, shit like that. MOB, yeah. man. So, you know, that really, like, caught my attention right there. And then, you know, you never could say Meek is an overnight success. When you go back to the YouTubes, you see him rapping. You know, yeah, shout out to back when he had through. the braids. Yeah. Shout out to O'Melly. O'Melly always come through, do his uh, one-two. Did O'Melly spit when he was up here? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, call, you actually called up when O'Melly oh, yeah. was here. Oh, and, and, and was Lee Mason about and all of them was there? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. But there was, there was a second oh, my time. my boyfriend's here. There was a second time when he was uh, when O'Melly was up here, and you was, you know, you was behind that wall, and we was trying to get in touch oh, with yeah. you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I, was, I was locked down. Shout out to the family walking in the building. It's a Saturday. We turned this up This is my boyfriend right here. What's up, man? Nation. Nation. boy Cuban. Fourth of July. Nation. All right. Right, stuff, enough of that kissy face shit, Nation. Go over there, son. <laughs> can, 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 can we get into a record real quick? Yo, please yeah, let's, let's get into it. a record. You know what I'm saying? I want to get into Cold Hearted. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get into that <laughs> real deal. Them lyrics right there. That real deal. Hold on. And, and so, did you just have Diddy just, 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 just talk on no, it? Like, actually, like this how the night was. Scott, Scott and Chloe was in the booth just wild and talking a bunch of shit in the booth one night. Uh -huh. This like before French even met Chloe right here. Like this when he met Chloe the next day, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Something like that. They in the booth. We all in the booth having a good time. Me, Rose. Everybody, we got Scott talking a bunch of shit. He drunk as hell. Diddy came in the booth. Hey, Scott, watch out, Scott. And just walked in and just <laughs> start talking. He ain't even never heard the song and start talking that. And they had disconnected. I was like, damn, how the fuck That's did crazy. That? Wasn't that crazy, Dan, when he did that? Can we introduce it? Can you introduce it? Cold hearted. You know, some of the real shit touch streets in a long time. You already know it's your boy McMillie and his bitch. Let's get it. VIP.
DJ Self VIP Saturdays. It's the homie Gray Rizzy, Superstar J, and it's your girl Kimmy Cupcakes. And we still got the homie Meek Mill in the building. Yeah, you see how she building. said that just now? She closed her eyes and shit like she I was know. singing to the Lord and shit. Uh, it's an hour, Meek. Amen. Man, a whole man. hour, eight to nine. Oh, whole you didn't hour. Know. You didn't That's even know we were about to do that. It's yes, Meek Mill season. Look at this, Meek man. Normally we would go ahead and tell motherfuckers, but I think you know what it is. Twenty nine million motherfuckers was waiting for you to get to the VIP. Yeah. Right Worldwide. Here again from the last time. So oh yeah, gonna, let's do it. We ain't gonna play no games with them. We gonna go straight out. Yeah, we ain't playing. Let's go all the way. Now, Greg, you said like you said before. It seemed like you had a strategy when you came out. You dropped the freestyle. You know what I'm saying? The cream joint was crazy. And then when Monster came, I was just like, wow. <laughs> we ain't even, and the crazy part is we ain't even really had no strategy. It just be falling in like that. It just be falling together like that. Man. Everything just be coming in place. You know what I'm saying? I, I pushed my album back a few times. I don't think it was no better time than this time to come with it. You know what T I'm saying? Tell the people real quick, because I, I, I'm really interested. I always see your brothers with you, man. I always, yeah. and I, I know this Coon ain't here. Shout out to Coon, man. Yeah. But, yo, fam, how important is your family, your team, for this process uh, it right keeps now? Me, it keeps me sane. It keeps me meek mill. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to like, change my hair. have some blue hair and no shit like that. You right. know what I mean? Your homies <laughs> keep <laughs> yo, man, What the fuck you doing? You got on a skirt, B? What's up? <laughs> right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, niggas like that. That's how my dogs is named playing none of that right and, and, and it keeps you like grounded and shit like that because you know most people it costs to keep people with you and shit like that and, lord knows and everybody ain't willing to do that you know what i'm saying but Every you know time I, I go out with kimmy it cost me about 150 dollars yeah so imagine flights and hotels and a lifestyle you know what i'm saying Ooh. so i love my family and my niggas you know what i mean they, they play a valuable part i ain't like i'm doing them a favor it's my family so you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. with the type of success that you have do you find that it's more like the streets got the eye on you or like the, the cops, like the laws, like they ready to catch you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know about that. It shouldn't be ready to catch me because what you going to catch? Not that Rico. <laughs> no black yeah. Not that Rico. You know what I mean? We ain't doing nothing but selling sneaks, headphones, music. And you got a tour coming I believe, up. I believe you'd be targeted in a certain way, but you know me. They should be thinking me. I take drug dealers and shit off the street. Okay. And, I, and unfortunately, man, a lot of you, this is Saturday. This is 4th of July, man. But a lot of y'all didn't get a chance to go check out that pop-up shop that you had downtown, man. Hey, let's yeah. talk about yeah, that it was real lit. quick. Uh, you know, that shit looked good, the brother. The other day we just came through and did the pop-up shop at NYC. The fans was very turned up. We make sure we gave everybody a picture that was out there. You know, we just... Show some love back and some support. Touch the people. Now, let me tell you something. Go ahead, go to the Instagram. Check it out, man. Go to yeah. Meek Mill's Instagram. Yo, it's like when you walking down a block, it was the pictures. It was the monster. It was Puma. It was his monster drink. It was all kinds of shit going on. You're a brand right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, on, I'm one of the only street rappers that's endorsed like this. Very Cut, endorsed. Crazy. Yeah, a couple million on the endorsements, you know what I mean? Keep the bills paid, you know what I mean? I want to show money. Had some fun a little bit. I yeah. want to ask you now. What I know a couple of companies came at you. Why did you pick Puma? to like do the footwear because I know uh, you took it back because I don't want to be at the companies where everybody I don't want to be on Reebok with 15 people over there on Reebok yeah. I don't want to be on they with are? Puma everybody really came after me when I came to Puma I don't really know I don't even think they had nobody urban they and had no. uh, they had Walt Clyde Frazier as soon as you go in the office, you yeah. see a beautiful picture of Walt Clyde Frazier, and then Meek comes through the door and it's fucking blowing out of proportion, man. Yeah, it's crazy. You know what I'm, saying? I'm just representing for the urban side, you know. Our urban the communities, we spend a lot of money on Puma, and you know, they just wanted to attack it, and they felt like I could be the one that uh, inspired people to come that way. You know? So, are you are you designing the shoes? Yeah, I design all the patent leather shoes and. Like the, my homies got on the Puma jackets and stuff like that little track. We just design things and make our own little collections and you know they endorse us. The That's what's up. Shout out to South Street. If you've been in Philly, if, of course you're in Philly. You live in Philly, but I, I know when I walked into a couple of stores down there, it was like nothing but Puma up and down the street, man. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, the mark is definitely. Set. Yeah, we let it up. Yeah, we let for it up. sure. Superstar J. I, I know you. We was talking about something with. I was this talking guy. about the Rico. Yeah. With Drake. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's I, get I, to I, that. I want. I want to go yeah. to album cut. But you know everybody's call, talking about the Rico now. Yeah. I, know, I said shout out to Trav. He said that he, he you know, Trav everybody's in the room. Responsible for putting that thing together. Now how now how did that happen with the Rico? Like, cause Drake is talking about the Rico. I don't know if he he knows about the Rico, right, but right. he he went crazy. Y'all both yeah. went back and forth. Yeah, you know we just popping that. You know Trav came through, connected it all up, and you know Drake sent some fire, something like. He sent that at his first part. Mm -hmm. You know, I just send it back. And you know, we put that thing together. We ain't do no hook or nothing. Ain't even take no time. We just boom, one two. Great you know, record right there. I walked in, ain't even write it. Just put it down in the booth. 
just laid it and you know it just came like that so are you are, are you the type of rapper that you, you don't write no more like no just, I ain't writing like 10 years or something like that so Seriously? just in the booth no nah, we don't do what? no writing we write for people yo let me tell you something yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah cadence the flow all that stuff no writing no paper no nothing no nah. you just go and lay it down no nah. no huh. nothing if, I don't know how you ain't never been to a studio session. Mostly, I self will tell you, so I've been to the studio session. Well, I thank you for that invite. Me and Superstar J. Yeah. Kimmy, <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll be there. I be wanting y'all to see how I be coming because when niggas be getting rated over nicer than me, I don't really be feeling that because first, they don't even be writing their own shit. Uh -huh. And... They just ain't fucking <laughs> a lot with me of on hell, no right. levels. I be feeling like, yo, man, if you don't, if you hear the phones, it's going crazy right now. Meek Mill's in the building. Call us up eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Yo, now listen. I have to ask you this question because I, I got stopped by at least three girls on the way up here, man. They yeah. knew he was coming up here. How did it feel to hit that stage on BET Weekend? With uh, it felt your lady. With yes. your lady. It felt like a dream, man. I tell people every time, every time I roll over in the bed and look at Nikki, I'll wake me up. Lord, please, Jesus. It's got to be a dream. <laughs> Yo, the, some Lord, of the memes please. were funny, though. Yeah. You seen some of the memes of you? I don't know which ones, but Nikki, when I'm like smiling hard. Nah, when you were standing with like, y'all going to act like. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing really of the Nikki ain't bring. No, I'm, this is sh funny <laughs> shit. I was like. Gonna act she, like and, and for all those who are, you can't see this right now, she's showing me the meme right now. Yeah. I, I want to ask me the is energy because yeah. now you know now this is your girl and she and she goes in the booth and she's like you know you spitting those rhymes and the, the record with Chris Brown she y'all both went back and forth back and forth. Yeah. Is it sometimes you like I got you right there? Mm -hmm. No, I think she won. I think her verse was hotter than mine on that. We all me and my squad agreed on that. She murdered that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these got to like one. Trip, tell them they tore guys on us. He duck ducking them gooses all. She was talking some shit. Now, we're, <laughs> I, you know, we're fathers over here, man. And I know Nick in years has, has talked about ch child and stuff like that. Yeah. You have you have a little man right there, just like I have a little man over here sleep on us. Yeah. Um, quick question. Do you see that in your future? Family? What, another baby? What? Like a yeah, because I heard yeah. Nikki's yeah. pregnant. Nikki ain't pregnant, but yeah. She's not pregnant. I wish. Yeah. Okay. Put that in the universe. Put it in the universe. Put put it in the universe. Uh, I already tweeted that five years ago. Mm. <laughs> so it should be happening later, so, sooner or later when we ready for that. After the tour, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. You guys are doing the, that. the pink print Damn, tour. Kimmy? Yeah, pink print well, tour. You know, this gonna Me, happen. Nikki, Dave, Low Race Swimmer. <laughs> nice. Let, let's get into this record. Can we get into this record? All right. Because I because this is my record too. The Chris Brown, Nicki Minaj, Meek record. Yeah. Yes. The newest single off Dreams Worth More Than Money. All eyes on you, featuring Nicki Minaj and Chris Brown. Let's get it. Yeah. VIP. You know what it is, DJ Self VIP Saturday Superstar J. It's the homie Gray Rizzy. It's your girl Kimmy Cupcake. Kimmy, we had to do two hours, right? This two is Fourth hours. of July. Two yeah. hours. Let's just just rock out. Overtime. Let's yeah. rock out. Now I understand. Now I can go an old meek set, or we can go a new meek set. Yeah, Meek Millie got work. <laughs> That's what I work. Like. Yo, man, y'all got like on a on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta start representing, man. I be feeling like we don't be getting enough credit on this side of our East Coast rap. Well, I, I, right I, I, I don't think you've been in no New I'm York fucking, clubs. I'm fucking, yeah, of course, <laughs> in the club. Yeah, I'm talking about the politics when niggas be blogging and talking on the radio and all. Yeah. Y'all gotta make that shit known. We've been well, putting who, in work for years. Strong who are you out fucking here. with right now <laughs> from the, you know, from the East? Who, from who, the you, East? who are you checking out right now? Right, let me Mel. tell you when I'm. Young boys. Uh, ASAP for. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Ferg. Troy F. Grinding. Okay. Uh, who else? I, I don't just want to say East Coast. I want to say Dej Loaf. Okay. Definitely Young Thug. Future. Who else we banging? We only naming niggas we really banging too. We ain't just... And, and one thing about me, he's not ashamed to say another person's song on the Instagram Oh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. We promote mean? nigga shit. And even like eight months ago, go check my shit. When everybody was all future, we were still on future. And we was happy to see that nigga come back and put the muscle down and take over them streets again. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, definitely. Now, I want to rewind it back when he was on the show and he freestyled. Meek's always been with the social media. Yeah. Like a lot of rappers start, you know, when we talk to them, they be like, yo, I'm just, you know, sometimes I look at it. Meek interacts with the people. All the time. Do you yeah. feel? Do you feel like that's a lot of your success when you interact with these people? Just even riding the bike. A yeah. lot of rappers won't do that. 
Riding yeah, back I, Manhattan. Yeah, I'm just like a person though. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I'm most celebrities that, don't even you, be yeah. liking like people even near them. You like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you famous? <laughs> you know, I Why had are some, you famous? I had some bad days. Of course, I don't be feeling like taking pictures all day. Like mm-hmm. nobody would feel like taking pictures all day. But you know, I still accept the fact that people admire what I do and I inspire people. So you know, I'm a regular person. And also, Meek and motivates me. people like all these guys that try to jump in the VIPs. And Meek like, yo, man, you know, party with the girls. You ain't got to sit yeah, and look yeah, at don't me come all over the time. Here and have me right. looking like I'm with a thousand niggas and I'm not with a thousand niggas. I be wanting to like, I don't want the promoter looking at me like we look like a threat. <laughs> Let some girls over here Go get some girls Man what Come you over doing? here With like four or five girls Yeah man, come get your look time. Come get your look over here With the chasers Let the chicks know you with us However they do yeah. it You know how uh-huh. niggas do it But don't stand there us all day God damn it Well yeah man Of the people man And the people keep on Hitting us up And they want to hear Something real quick Superstar Can, can we get can an we acapella can we get nah, out? we need beats though. We gotta do this oh, right. Man. No, no radio station I did, did radio for was ready for beats. Like that's how I could tell the state of the rap game. Niggas <laughs> don't even want to rap. I'm volunteering to rap and shit. Yeah, I know. Oh. So <laughs> y'all probably ain't even got instrumentals set up. Now we do got instrumentals, but you know this is definitely a pre-record right now. <laughs> yeah, these but motherfuckers. You can hold it. <laughs> these motherfuckers. We in a different studio, but. Yeah, I know how I get. Nobody was ready for niggas to spit because the rap game ain't built like that no more. Oh, well, but you know what? I'm gonna I, take I did that. say something earlier, didn't I? I'm gonna yeah. take that. Right. I'm gonna take that as we need to go ahead and we gonna continue this another time. Yeah, we we'll get it more next than time. Money. Dreams worth more than money in stores I now. iTunes right the now. The Life app in stores right now. Make Shut. sure you go get it. I actually wanted to ask you about that. So, how long did it take to come up with the the whole video game? Probably like six, seven months of developing and putting it together. And as we go, we're going to be updating it and keep on boosting it and boosting it. Can graphics. I be a character on it? Yeah, you got to get like super popping first, though. You got to get popping in the bike life world. You gotta get bike life. Yeah. Shout out to the homie Chino, man. I can't. Chino! I'm scared. I'm Shout pussy. out Chino, one of the nicest in America. Leaky, you don't want it. Rest <laughs> in peace to uh, Dirt Bike Rail. Yeah, shout, shout out to Leaky. Out, shout now out all get the riders bike. across America that's doing their thing. Leaky, what's the bet? Let us know. We got 20,000 on Chino when you ready. Let's go. <laughs> Leaky might not have that. Yeah, we got to yeah, get a couple of queens, dude. You got some OGs that want to put it up for him. I, I seen them plenty of times. They had it. Queens, what's up, Leaky? I see you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Man, but I just want to ask you before you go, like, the situation with, um, because you was a, a supporter of the Smurders. Yeah. But when, when you knew about that record, brung them out and everything, it's just how... What's going on with them now? I don't now? think people know either. I was the first one to bring Bobby Smurda out on the stage. Yes, first celebrity ever. Mm-hmm. KOD Miami. Check Insta. That's why I love like Instagram and YouTube and all that stuff. It's fake. Like, you can't tell me. When them young boys be like, I be, a, a young boy just seen me. He was like, you really came from the bottom. I know why he said that because he, yeah. seen, he could see everything. He could see me with the Nabby Braves 13 in the middle of the street on the corner mm-hmm. rapping. Mm-hmm. And then he could see me on the G5 with Nikki. So you see both sides and it's believable. It's real. So what, what what advice you give to like a like a crew like with Bobby Smurda and them? You see them like they're really in touch with the streets. Do you pull uh, them to the side like an OG? Uh, like the day before Bobby got locked up, he was in Philly with me. I couldn't travel. I just came home from jail, so I gave him like a three hour talk that night about watch who you hang on yourself around to. I mean, watch who you be hanging around. Mm-hmm. Watch uh the type of stuff you be having yourself around. Make better decisions, man. Treat your freedom like $10 million. I'm going to say it every time. Yeah, he did say that you uh, wrote him a couple of letters since he's been locked up. Yeah, I ain't write, I ain't write him no letters. Somebody probably fake wrote him letters. I be talking to him on the phone. Oh, on the phone. Yeah, you know somebody probably wrote me, yeah, it's me. <laughs> said it was me. People was doing that to me. Yeah, this Rosé. <laughs> I'm calling Rosé. Damn, you talking with who this? This was you? No. Oh, man, wow. Like, damn, I took this letter serious. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby yeah. Schmurder, Rowdy Rebel, hold, hold, hold your, your heads, head, baby. Yeah, hold your head, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, after the situation, just get your mind right, man. The hood, you know, we do it a lot for the hood. We mm-hmm. trying to impress the streets and get a certain respect in the streets, but that shit ain't, that shit is never smart. I don't know who made us thought that was smart. You know, mm-hmm. Chingston's got murk, really, yeah. being in the streets. It ain't smart. It ain't, it ain't good for you. I mean, I don't know. Whatever stripe that they give you for that shit, that shit can't buy you nothing. nothing Definitely, all, you can man. get a red stripe, yellow stripe. It ain't going. You can't even buy shit with that motherfucking stripe. I want the Ferrari stripe that go on the front of the. Yeah. Uh, the one that costs about seven thousand that go across the hood of the Ferrari. I take that one instead. 
Stay down, stay humble, get money, take care of your family, and keep it moving. That's gangster to us now. Mm-hmm. And get that Meek Mill album. Absolutely, yeah, man. Yeah, dreams are more than money. And when you get the album, the young dudes that's coming up, like I be telling Kissing them, you know, it's going to be some ignorant shit on my album, but Kissing them really helped raise me in the streets because, you know, they said a lot of real shit mm-hmm. through them eras when they was, like, on top of the game. Right. And them, like, kids stay property. They, all that shit really raised me. So, you know, all the young kids... It's a few lines in there that you mean might need to take with you for life, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of that shit come from the heart. And what I also like, man, is that not only do you show the good things, you keep it very real, man. So how can, for the people who may not know, how can they go ahead and stay in touch with Meek Mill on the social, on the Instagram, the Twitter, the website, Yeah, follow all me on Instagram, Twitter, all that shit. You can Google that shit, whatever. If you, if you, if you like this <laughs> lifestyle, you interested in a nigga that's... Come from nothing on his way to the top and then bring his family with him and we all grinding to go get it. I mean, stop by, check us out, swing through the page, leave a comment or something. <laughs> he talked back for sure, man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's what it is, the Meek Mill two hour special. Fourth of July, kid. Drip. VIP, VIP Saturdays. Baby.